Her Majesty, the Queen, has asked me to read the following message to you. My chiefs and peoples of Fiji, on this historic occasion, I send to you all my warmest congratulations. On the 10th of October, 1874, a document was signed at Levuka, whereby your ancestors, and in particular, the great chief Thakumbau, the Vunivalu of Bau, ceded to my great-great-grandmother the rule and governance of your islands in return for the protection which the crown could afford you. Since that day, there have been many changes in the world, but there has always been mutual faith and confidence between Fiji and Britain in peace and war. This relationship has stood the test of time and will, I believe, endure into the future. With independence, your leaders assume new burdens and will have greater responsibilities to discharge. I am confident that if you continue to seek solutions to future problems in the same spirit in which you have faced and overcome those of the past, the years ahead will be bright and prosperous. As head of the Commonwealth, I also take pride in welcoming Fiji to membership of our unique international fellowship. I am especially glad that I can be represented among you today. This is a token of the affectionate regard in which we hold Fiji. May God bless you all. I have now been asked to give the constitutional instruments of independence of Fiji to the Prime Minister. Your Royal Highness, on behalf of all the people of the independent dominion of Fiji, I accept these constitutional documents with sincere gratitude and humble pride. I thank you most sincerely for the gracious message you have brought to us from Her Majesty the Queen. Our links with the British Crown are long and treasured ones. And we all have affectionate and happy memories of Her Majesty's visits and of those of other members of the royal family over the years. We look forward to maintaining and strengthening these links and send warm greetings to Her Majesty. Nothing that is happening today can change the warm feelings of our people of Fiji for the Crown, the United Kingdom and its peoples. We have been too closely associated over the years in good times and bad. And from the very outset of our steps on the path of independence, we have been firmly set on joining the Commonwealth. But today is a proud day for us all. For today we assume the control of our own destinies and take on full adult responsibilities after a long period of tutelage. But we do not only take the responsibility for ourselves, we take it on for each other. We are a community of races with different cultures, customs, and languages. But the things that unite us far outnumber those in which we differ. Above all, 
there is our fixed joint determination to build a strong, united Fiji, rich in its diversity and tempered with tolerance, goodwill and understanding. Given a happy continuance of these conditions, and we must all contribute positively to them, I am confident that Fiji can show the world an example of harmony and progress out of all proportions to its size. And as we enter this new era, I pray for God's guidance and blessing on the independent dominion of Fiji and all our peoples.